G'day folks. I'm a bit annoyed because I'm just coming out to do some target practice with the new FX Mark II Impact. I like to have some music going in the background and you know what, I just really felt this like listening to Led Zeppelin, the song remains the same live. And you know what, fucked if I could find that disc. So anyway, I'm listening to Ozzy Osbourne live at Budokan instead. What I thought we'd do, because there's billions and trillions of videos out there on YouTube in regards to FX, Impact Mark II, what they can do, um, how you tune them, all your blah, blah, blahsy blahs. Anyway, what I thought I would do is just do a short video. This is called the roughest videos in the world channel.com. And if you like us, just please subscribe because the more subscribers, the keener I get to do this. And I'm sorry it's rough, but fuck it, that's just how it is. Not everybody has all that flash fancy shit. And it, although it's good for watching, I would sort of wager that the majority of us that have got these things, we're not really into all that sort of fancy editing. We just shoot the damn things, right? So, all right, so check her out. And work out how to do that. Downstream here in the big junk pile, right down there, I don't know, you probably can't focus it, 50 metres, 50 metres, we've got some targets. So I thought what I'll do, I'll have a crack with five shots with the FX 25.4 grains, which is just your Diabolos, righto? Um, yeah, look, that's what they are, FX, exact same weight as that. So I'm going to guarantee they're exactly the same. So we'll smack five into that, and then we'll go down and have a look and see what see what I can achieve, or what you can achieve, with one of these big bad boys straight out of the box. I've done jack shit to this, except put a scope on it. And it might not even, it's, we're not going for centre of a target, we're just going for uh, groupings here. So, fuck me, look at this. I better put one in it. <laughs> right, here we go. Tell you what I don't like. I don't like how heavy the trigger is straight out of the box. I like a light trigger. You know what, I might even do that after these few shots. Ozzy, you mad me. How many drugs has Ozzy Osbourne had? But how is he still alive? Is anyone counting? I think the gun is. I only put five in there. Good gun. Righto, that's five. Let's go down range. Where's the fucking pause button on this thing? Let's go down range now a look. Righto, here we go, coming up on, this is at 50 metres, untuned, zero this bad boy here in, what do we got? Santa to Santa, 25, uh, look. 12.97 mil at 50 metres, so that's, uh, that's sub half inch, that's, yeah, that's, that's half inch at 50 metres. Straight out of the box, sitting on a plastic gun, bloody plastic outdoor table. Um, yeah, so that's pretty good. All right, let's go and put the same weight, but the JSB heavies in and see what happens there. Yeah, right, so we're back. I've loaded in the five of the King 25 Diabolos. Let's give it a bit of a crack and see what we got. Tell you what I did notice, the FX ones seem to be a little bit darker. Maybe, a, I don't know, darker batch of bloody... I don't know, who cares, but anyway, just tell me what I noticed. Tell you what else I've noticed. There's some bloody sheep down there. If them bastards don't move out of the row, you're going to cop it. Good! Wish you could see that. If you want better quality videos, you should subscribe 
and then it gives me a bit more incentive to go and buy some proper shit and then I can probably at least see you, show you what I'm shooting at. Right. Pretty much similar point of aim. Pretty much landing in the same spot, right? I don't know what the difference is. Maybe the FX ones are a slightly better pick. These are all slapping down pretty damn good, I can tell you. Right, that's five. Let's go have a look and see how that went. Fair dinkum, you sheep, have you got a death wish? Get the hell out of the gun range. Go left, go right. The more you hang around here, the quicker you're going to end up on my dinner table. Get going. Righto, we're back. I'll switch this thing, uh, switch him back to bloody millimetres. That's what we work on. Righto, let's have a look here. Oh. Thirteen point two one millimeters, so just a poof dinth more than the FX. It could have been me. Um, I like to use a light trigger. It's a pretty damn heavy trigger, the Australian one, out of the box, but obviously they're adjustable. I'm sitting on a plastic outdoor garden table, which is doing fuck all for the stability of what we're trying to do here. But, you know, look, there it is. Still half inch group, 50 metres. I did hear, I can't remember whether I heard it or, or read it somewhere, that the FX branded uh, pellets are just uh, a finer, like a, a slightly sorted pellet compared to your standard run-of-the-mill JSBs. I don't know, could be wrong. Now we're going to do the big fellas, the 33.95 grains. Let's run these and see how we go. All right, I'll tell you what, these 33 grain bad boys, they're a fair bit bigger. Geez, they're a, you can really see they're substantially heavier. But uh, anyway, we'll see how the big girl goes here with these on. And then we'll go down range and have a little bit of a look, eh? Oh, I don't. No stupid sheep in the road down there. As expected, where they where they're landing is slightly different to the lighter pellets, so just down a little bit. That was a pretty good one. Fuck, I hope they keep going like this. I think you might find our winner. Hmm. For any of you animal lovers out there, don't worry, there's a couple of big tractor tyres behind where we're shooting at. And I'm pretty sure a 25 cal air, for, air off was not going to go through a bloody big massy Ferguson tyre. And you know what? If it does and it kills the sheep, guess what? I'll be doing a big Joe video on how to do lamb casserole or a leg of lamb. How about that? Anyway, let's go down and have a look. Okie dokes. Well, they've opened up a little bit. Actually, not too bad. Let's sort of try and get him in there a little bit. Look, I'd say 17 mil. But it's all it's all up and down. The, these ones were kind of, you know, left and righty. This is up and down. So, geez, that could have been me, I don't know. But either way, 17 mil, center to center at 50 metres, untuned with a big-ass heavy bloody JSB King super king or whatever the hell they're called that's pretty good hey so um i'll tell you what i'm going to do right now i'm going to grab my fx royale 300 
and I'm going to put five on that last remaining target at 50 metres and we're going to see what that thing can do because it hasn't been tuned. I haven't touched the regulator or anything on that. All it's got is a trigger set the way I like it and I've been through that many damn pellets trying to find which one it likes and I've got the one it likes. So let's see how it goes with its preferred pellet against the new FX Mark II Impact Untuned. All right, so we're back. We got the beautiful FX Royale 300 carbon fiber barrel shroud. Not silenced because it's Australia and our politicians think that a silenced air gun could be dangerous. But anyway, we won't go into that. Uh, here's what this thing likes. It's 177 exact premium Diabolos in 8.44 grain. They're as expensive as all hell's bells. But did you just see that? Did you just fucking see that? Oh my god, what am I doing? Alright, so I've just bashed the living crap out of it. It's got a, uh, a Leopold VX2 on it. We're going to see if it'll bloody shoot now. Fair dinkum, what am I doing? Right, I just we'll see where it goes. Don't be surprised if it doesn't even bloody shoot now. Oh, by the way, the impact's got a 30 power scope. This has got a 9 power, so it's not really suitable for a comparison in that way because my eyes aren't real good. 